Okay, today I'm gonna to cut out a Christmas tree. The, the thing that's different about this one is, although I did open it in Inkscape, I did not draw this one. I actually bought it. I bought it from Bad Dog Metalworks for zero dollars because he has many, many drawings that he's done and he's very good um, that he sells. Um, but this one, I was just looking at what other stuff he, he had and what it cost to buy a drawing. Because if you can't draw, I mean, some of us, CAD is cardboard aided design. Um, we're not real good with the computers. I mean, I do use a computer for work, but I'm, it's not graphics related. Um, anyway, so some of us aren't inclined to draw something. If, if somebody else has already drawn it though, we should be able to download it and use it. So you might want to check that out, Bad Dog Metalworks. Uh, I'll put a link. Um, anyway, I was on his site and I downloaded a Christmas tree it includes a PNG file, so it's a graphics file, so you can see what you're going to get. It also includes a SVG, so you can open it up in Inkscape or whatever your editor is. I use Inkscape. He actually uses Inkscape, and uh, you can edit the drawing if you want to. And he also sends two DXS, DXF files, version one and version two. Turns out version one doesn't quite load right on the arc droid. Um, I'm almost positive he isn't using an arc droid. I know he has full sheet CNC tables, but um, but version two actually loads exactly right. Version one, uh, it almost looked like it, has, it was trying to cut the holes multiple times, so like multiple passes. But anyway, so version one loads up, loads up perfectly. Uh, all you need to know is the dimensions and um, it's a 12 inch tall tree, so loaded it up, punched in 12, set the cut order from inside to out, and I set it to be, instead of, you have a choice left cut, right cut, or center cut, I put it center cut because some of the de details of this uh, are pretty close, so I didn't wanna have to deal with it, and uh, so center cut it is. Anyway, so, um, I guess we'll cut it out and see what it looks like. Okay, the tree's all loaded and ready to cut. Um, 26 amps on the plasma cutter. This is that sheet of metal that I got that I don't know, I didn't measure the exact uh, gauge of it. I believe it's a little bit thinner than 16 gauge, so I dropped it to 26 amps and I increased the feed rate to uh, 120. Hopefully that's not too fast, but uh, so let's see what happens when we run it. All right, so there you go. Looks an awful lot like the one, the drawing that comes with the download. Um, very clean cuts, so I think my settings are pretty good for this metal, which I think is 18 gauge. Um, I'm just being lazy, I, I have a gauge, I can, <laughs> I can measure it. But uh, so yeah, all the circles cut out perfectly. Uh, so the way this works is you bend the base here up. So that's the stand. And the center piece you twist 90 degrees and it becomes a 3D drawing. So I'll do that in a second. But before I do that, I would uh, I wanna hit it with a flap disc and clean off some of the crud. And uh there you go. 
that's what it looks like. So this is uh, the actual file I just finished cutting. Um, I should have uh, I should have filmed myself setting this up. So maybe I'll just reenact it here real quick just to show. So I'm gonna load clear. So I'm gonna load. It's called Christmas Tree Easy. Set the height. 12 and you can see here that's the drawing for the first version you see I'm not sure what's going on but there are multiple lines coming to this single point like this single zero circle so it's like it's it's doing the uh, lead-in cut, but it's also going to do the center cut. So that's just not quite right for the arc droid. But if you load clear, if we load version 2, hit the uh, height, set it for 12, and you can see now there's only one path or you know it's only cutting each circle one time um, which is proper I and mean, that's what I just cut so uh, the only other thing I did was I actually it kept the setting I did but I set the angle 90 degrees because the tree loads normally it loads vertical and I wanted to turn it horizontal so you can set the angle to 90 degrees. It turns it sideways. If I was going to cut another one, then I wanted to set it up next to this one. So, you know, for saving metal, I could turn it at 180 degrees back the other way, flip it, and butt it up close to it. Um, the only other thing I did was I changed just the center cut, like I said, and the sort is inside to out. And that's exactly what I just finished cutting. Well, I'd like to say I made the decision to not film uh, hitting this with the grinder, but what really happened is I uh, failed to push the hyperlapse button, so this is what you get to see. So the instructions say you can bend it by hand, so I'm going to try to do that. The key is to bend it, to bend what you're trying to bend bend it properly. Probably I should bend the base first. By hand. I know if it was any heavier you wouldn't want to be bending it by hand. Let's put it that way. So now we have a standing tree. I'm going to have to straighten that base a little bit. And then... Twist the center part. And we have a 3D tree. There's your 3D Christmas tree. Thanks. Thanks to uh, Bad Dog Metalworks for giving away this design and for having all the free videos that I've used to learn how to use Inkscape. But there you go. That's what it looks like. All right, there you go. I mean, it's still October. Got to wait another week for uh, till Halloween, but I'm doing Christmas stuff. So I think this turned out pretty good. Um, you know, no, no CAD required, CAD cardboard or otherwise. You don't have to be able to draw anything. Um, you can just buy drawings. I know they're available on Etsy and other places. This one I got off Bad, Dogs, Bad Dog Metalworks. I recommend this site if you want to learn to draw using Inkscape. It's got a ton of 10 minute videos. Um, that's how I picked up how to do stuff in Inkscape. 
bunch of 10 minute videos on how to do various different skills. So it's not like hours and hours. You want to do something, you can search, find the thing you want to learn, learn how to do it and use it. In this case, I just downloaded a drawing he already did and uh, turned out pretty good. It's a very good drawing. Loaded, uh, there's two versions of the DXF file, but one of them loads up perfectly in the arc droid and uh, cut this out. No alterations by me. Um, so another thing for you to try with your arc droid or any other CNC you might have. Anyway, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.